National Inflation Association is projecting by the year 2015, the United States will experience an outbreak of hyperinflation that will cause the U.S. dollar to lose nearly all of its purchasing power. Rather than address the root cause of the upcoming hyperinflationary crisis, NIA believes the U.S. government is likely to implement price controls by ordering stores to sell food, water, and other necessities at government-mandated prices. With many trillions of newly printed dollars chasing too few goods being sold at artificially low prices, Americans are going to be faced with the very realistic possibility of empty store shelves. Very few Americans realize just how quickly store shelves become empty during a panic. During the upcoming currency crisis, with millions of Americans rushing to dump their dollars before they become worthless, all shelves at grocery and convenience stores nationwide will likely become empty within a few short days. Two months ago, the U.S. had a wake-up call of what hyperinflation in this country will look like. The mainstream media largely ignored this story, but NIA believes it is one of the most important stories of 2010 so far because it provides a window into what will occur nationwide during hyperinflation. On May 1st, 2010, a water pipe ruptured in Weston, Massachusetts, 15 miles west of Boston, and 8 million gallons of water flooded into the Charles River. I have declared a, a, a state of emergency and am issuing the following directions. First, all residents in the impacted communities should boil their drinking water before consuming it. Failure to boil drinking water rapidly for at least a minute could cause illness, in some cases serious illness. Attention, the MWRA has announced a boil water in this area. Millions of residents immediately rushed to buy bottled water at local stores and within hours all retail stores in Boston were out of bottled water. Hour and a half after we opened, we were basically back to square one with, with no water. They're like every place else. And the water shelves aren't the only empty ones. Obviously with no water, no dishwasher, the trickle-down effect is a uh, significant effect on the paper plates and the paperware. Even more shocking than how quickly retail stores ran out of water was how quickly Americans turned into animals fighting over water. Don't bother going to the supermarket. It's crazy. It's like a big brawl. Don't go. And they're fighting over it. Literally fighting over water. I just had to fight my way through the aisles because it's crazy in there. Everybody just started grabbing cases and cases. There's no more water in there. Most Americans aren't prepared for the currency crisis that is ahead and will likely wait until the very last minute to prepare. Unfortunately, by the time hyperinflation becomes apparent to all, it will be too late for Americans to purchase the goods that they will need to live and survive. Residents in the greater Boston area were able to survive the water main break only with the help of the National Guard. This line is about two miles long and stretches back to the Lynn border. Many of the people here have been in line since before 7 o'clock this morning waiting to get their case of water. They're getting a case of water, even though it did say two cases on the press release. Unfortunately, we didn't receive the other truck in time. Within two hours, volunteers had distributed about 840 cases. And then, with dozens of cars waiting, came this announcement. We are out of water. We have no more water at this time. The Boston water emergency quickly ended days later after workers stopped the spill and began repairs on the pipe. Americans won't be so lucky during hyperinflation. Americans will be forced to transact using silver and gold in the black market and it will likely take years for the U.S. economy to recover from the damage caused by government price controls. It is important for Americans to immediately purchase and store enough bottled water and non-perishable foods to last for at least six months during hyperinflation. Americans should also act now to plant their own garden so that the empty store shelves don't leave their families hungry. Seeds will likely become a very valuable commodity during hyperinflation. It will be just as important to have seeds as it will be to have silver and gold. Americans cannot rely on the government to save them during hyperinflation. There are already 40.2 million Americans on food stamps. 
when hyperinflation arrives, the government will effectively go bust. Food stamps won't buy anything, and there will be no National Guard supplying us with cases of bottled water. Remember, most of what you see in your local supermarket comes from hundreds or even thousands of miles away. If truckers demand wage increases and their employers can't afford them due to the rapidly rising fuel costs, widespread strikes in the logistics industry will prevent inventories from being replenished. The slightest disruption to our supply chain could cause a complete societal collapse. If you would like to prepare for and survive hyperinflation in the US, sign up immediately for the free NIA newsletter at inflation.us. You will receive weekly articles from NIA with the facts and truth about the U.S. economy and inflation. Becoming educated is the most important first step all Americans need to make in order to survive hyperinflation.